Hey there and welcome back. We're going to be doing some more videos for our research methods class. We're still in chapter two and what we're going to look at are histograms for categorical data when the data is categories rather than numbers. So we've got some sample data. This file is available with the textbook, um, the Cam and Cochran third edition, and we have data on this is 50 soda purchases and we know what each person purchased. Coke, Diet Coke, Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, Sprite. There's five brands. And you know, there's some information here, but we don't really know just by glancing at this, what are the most popular sodas, what are the least popular sodas, and it isn't gonna give us much information about how much soda to order in the future. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it a little bit more useful by looking, by creating a frequency distribution how many of each of these were sold. We could count them, but Excel has a really nifty tool, a command called count if, and we're going to use that. So I'm going to start by putting, creating some bins, which are the categories or groups that the sodas fall into, and these categories or groups are Coke, Diet Coke, Pepsi, etc. And then I'm going to put here how many right? I could call this frequency. This is going to be the count. You know me, I want everything centered. So I've got bins. I could type them in, but I'm not going to. The reason is, is that whenever you use the count if function, you need to have exactly, you have to have it exactly right. So I copy and paste it. I use the command C or control C if you're on a PC and then the command or control V and I bring them over one by one. You can see here, you could probably guess where the trouble would be. It would be on that Dr. Pepper with that period after the doctor because if you didn't get that period right or you added an extra space, Excel would not know, it can't you know, give you the next closest thing. It can only give you exact copies. So I'm going to start by putting the equal sign as, as we do with all functions in Excel. And I'm going to type the word count if and then an open parenthesis. And it gives me two cues. It tells me what it wants. It tells me it wants the range. The range is the set of data from which I might find this word Coke. So I'm looking for the word Coke among these entries. And because I'm creating a formula that I want to drag down, I'm going to hit on my Mac Command T. If you're on a PC, you would do F4. And so from those, from that range of cells, I am looking for the word Coke. And it's hidden right now in that bin. And so I'm actually going to have to type in D10. Now you can see that it highlighted it there. I'd prefer to click in, but it didn't work out that way for me because of the way it, it placed the words. And then I'm going to hit enter. And so Coke shows up 19 times. I'm just going to double click on that corner and it's going to fill in the rest. So we see Coke has 19. There were, of those 50 sales, 19 were Coke, 8 were Diet Coke, 13 were Pepsi, 15 were Dr. Pepper, and five were Sprite. That's our frequency distribution. I want to show you a quick check. When you're doing these a lot, it's really easy to have something go wrong. So for instance, check this out. What if I had typed these in and I had typed Dr. Pepper? See, I didn't leave, put the period after the doctor. I'd have zero in Dr. Pepper, right? So a zero lets you know that maybe something is wrong. Another way that you can find out if something is wrong is by just comparing your counts. We use the letter N to denote the number of observations. So how many observations are there? We get this two ways and I'm going to compare them. I want them to be the same. I'm going to sum up all the totals in my frequency distribution. I've got 50 items. And then I'm going to take this again and take two and I'm going to use the count A formula, which will count if there's something in the cell, whether it's a number or not. And that should also be 50. 
And so that's just to check if those numbers don't match up, you know that you've done something wrong. So this looks good. We've created a frequency distribution based on types of soda, how many sodas of each type were sold. Um, damn, we did it. Good work. All right. Happy calculating, and I'll talk to you later.